Welcome back. This is Channels Television. We're celebrating 21 years of professional broadcasting. Right now, we're talking sports. Yes, that's what to do because it's so much fun talking sports. And you can be part of the program. We told you at the start of the show, you can talk to us, you can contribute, you can have fun. On Twitter, channels underscore sports, Facebook channels, I think sports, you can send us an email to sports tonight at channels tv.com. Just gone by, we talked about table tennis, canoeing and rowing in Nigeria. Not a sport that we get to talk about often, but a young girl, Sherika Kogu, she went to the Olympics, she pulled the sports into our mouth, and the Federation, they are sustaining the momentum. That's the way to go. Same thing with table tennis. They're organizing competitions that will get us talking. And of course, we told you that the Black Stallions, that's the name for the senior men's national rugby team of Nigeria. The Black Stallions, they are in Nairobi, in, Ke in uh, Kenya, for uh, a two-day africa rugby sevens competition we'll catch up with the team that's the black stallions there um give them all the support you need to give to them because we're doing all we can to develop rugby in nigeria let's come back home now talk about women's football in nigeria we're also counting down to the on the 20 women's world cup that's one will take place in papua new guinea um on the 20 football for us, Toby, ah, it's been, a, it's been a, 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 a story of mixed fortunes. We've been to the final, we lost it severely. This time, Coach Peter Dedewo, he has invited 30 players to camp, quality in every way. Yep. We can do something this time. Yeah, we can. We can. You know, um, the, um, like you said, also this team has got to the final before. You mm. know, we lost loudly, loudly in the yeah. final. We've got quality in, in, in the ten man list. About twenty twelve of them will finally make it to the World Cup. I mean, during the qualifiers, brilliant performance for them. Defeated Liberia, Jar Congo, South Africa, both That's home right. and away. Mm. Like we all know, we are dominant on the African continent. But how, how, how can we push? Up or you know, uh, on, uh, you know, in the worst stage is, is a question a lot of mm. people are asking. But I mean, these guys have done it for themselves in the past. If you get to the final of, of a FIFA World Cup tournament, you know, kudos to them. Each achieve, achievement, we want them to win, but also us in terms of preparation. Uh, the facility the federation have created. We can also put the ladies on pressure. We, we just have to motivate them. We have to, have to encourage them and believe they can do it. I, I think they can do it, but let them go into the tournament and them themselves. Mm. The tournament started in November. Japan, Canada, Spain are a group. You know, uh, these are also great teams you know, coming from different continents with different quality. You know, better facility, better preparation than us. So we can only bank on the quality that we have mm. and we hope the level will put these guys together. And then uh, they will have a brilliant show. You know, at the work of, I don't think I will put any pressure on them. I want yeah. them to go there and jump themselves, exhibit their talent, and I see agree. how they can compete with the very best of teams. That's you the word. No at, pressure. At that stage, yeah. No pressure. Particularly when you're not giving them the sort of support you need to give them. No pressure. Let them just go there and have some fun. 30 players have been invited uh, for this crucial assignment. It's the under 20 Women's World Cup in Papua New Guinea. And those players are expected to report to camp in Abuja um, next to Tuesday, September the 27th. But Ali, I look at the list of the names of most of the players invited. I see players, home based players, dominating the list. And then you start wondering where well, the level at which our women's football is, is a worry. It shouldn't be a worry. Oh, tell me about it. The reason why it shouldn't be a worry is that um, the, the level of um, exportation of players in female football, you can't compare with male football. But doesn't the league worry you, women's league football? It, 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 it doesn't worry. That's where we can get our pool of talent to take to the national team. It's what you have, that's what you give. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because um, in male football now, you can, take, okay, you can get some 18-year-old player, 19-year-old player playing in Europe. But in female, 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 female football, I don't you get that. But myth, the major thing that I should have focused on, Austin, is the transition from the under-20 level to the national team. Yep. That is the major purpose of this competition. And we've not announced that. Because all these players, most of the players we've seen, most, some of them, they've been at the last under-20 competition. Yeah, they, they are still coming back again. Why can't hmm. we get new talent, hmm. expose them, we get scouts, we get scouts and, and, and agents to see them, we take them to Europe so that they can learn the, 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 the modern techniques in football and we take them to the World Cup and we, and we get, get a better showing at the World Cup. So hmm. it shouldn't be about who is on the team, it should be about the transition yes, into right. the national team. That's right. Just, that's my own bone of contention. I just agree with you, but I still believe we need to do a lot of work to fix the Women's Football League in Nigeria, give them all the support they need. So that's the update. Coach Peter Dedewa has invited 30 players to come for uh, the Women's Under-20 uh, World Cup. Nigeria will be competing in that one, and we told you that uh, in the same group of Japan, Canada, and Spain.
We're still still women's football now, talking about the Federation Cup. Good one, Rivers United again. Yep. They're still they're still dominating that competition. They've qualified for the final. Yeah, like you said, they've won it six times. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, you know, brilliant show for, for Rivers United in the Federation Cup. They are dominant. We, we, we win a championship six times. You we always you always been favourites, you know, going to every year edition. But I mean, last season was not really good for them. I think they lost in the quarterfinal stages, but yep. they, get, they get it better this time hmm. around in the final. And they the one today um, against Nasser Amazon. Difficult game for them. Yeah, um, Nasser Nasser Ali. Ali. Hmm. scored a beautiful in, in the 27 minutes in then ago. So they, they are in the final. I think um, Okon, Okon will be excited to yeah. take this team to the final for the mm. fact that they failed to get to the final last season, uh, which um, Sunshine Coins in won. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it will be a very good moment for them, but they have to wait uh, for the winner between Baeza Coins and also Delta Coins. Queens. And then mm. they will be hoping to, to make it a great final for them. But we can say from this part, a congratulation to Okon. And yeah. let's see if they will win the seventh title. Like I said, they've won it six times and they are, they, 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 they are hoping to get the seventh Federation Cup title for Rivers let's Rangers. See. If Rivers Angels can do it, they have qualified for uh, the final of this year's Federation for beating Nasser Amazon by a single goal. So it will be a war between the Angels and the Queens. We'll be waiting <laughs> to see if by us a queen. Yeah, we will oh, beat Delta, Delta, Queen. uh, Delta <laughs> Queens and then the Queens will go against the Angels. But it's a good one. Uh, we want to talk more about women's football. So congratulations to Rivers Angels and let's see if they can keep the momentum going. Let's come back. Talk about the Nigeria Professional Football League now. What a story we're having this season. I'm sure it excites you guys. We've not seen this level of competition. And then the rescheduled games today also got us talking some more. When Abia Warriors sees a in back, something, some, something just goes. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to understand it. But that's how it ended today. The rescheduled matches in the Nigeria Professional Football League. Abia Warriors defeated Aimba. And people are still wondering what happened to Aimba. Mm -hmm. Where That's did not... they get it wrong? Mm -hmm. They lost that one by three goals to one. Heartland. It was a relegation fight there yep. against Niger Tornadoes. Mm -hmm. They won by two goals to nothing. And um, the Northern Derby, Kano Pillars defeated El Kanemi Warriors by a single goal. But Toby, let's begin with Abia Warriors and Aimba. I don't know. It's, it, it can't be the coach all the time. The players, the mentality, where did they get it wrong? Was it because they crashed out of the Champions League? If, if, even before then, Austin, they, they struggled um, a lot in the, in the league. Even before the mm. camp, camp, uh, camp Champions League after, they, they, they were not part of the top four. They were not challenging. They were always behind, you know, uh, Rivers United Rangers and the rest. I mean, like you said also, can he be the coach every time? We also have to ask yeah. questions from the players also because... Mm. Um, I think it was Kano players and Aimba that invested much in terms of transfer. I think I players, uh, Aimba bought about 15 new players. Go Newland scored double digit last season for Nasa United. Christian Piaguara, solid player for Sharks FC. Mm -hmm. Dario Juice, solid player for Cry United. Kelly Kester, solid player for Shooting Star. Abu Assis, brilliant player for, you know, Abbe, um, I beg your pardon, Wari Wolves. Chima Akas also was brilliant with Sharks. You look at Teofilo Tafeluka, experienced goalkeeper who has won it. I to several mm -hmm. times. Joseph Osadia also. Mm -hmm. Ifan Ego, an experienced player also. Can you put the composition of players? To join mm. the likes of uh, Ibenugo, Mosquito, also, yeah. you know, founder, you, you continue to have, ask questions why are they struggling to, 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 to get into the contest? I'm not saying they should win, but they should also be part of yes. the contest. They, they are far away. I mean, last season they had 70 points. At this stage last season, I beg your pardon, this stage last season, after, after March 36 game, Aimba committed 30, um, 78 points. Yes. But this season, after March 36, they have committed just 50 points. They wow. won the league last season with 70 so, points, mm. now they have 50 points. Look mm. at what happened last season, Austin. Mm. At home last season, they have committed 47 points. This season at home, they have committed just 42 points. But the key thing for them last season, they have committed 23 points away from home. But this season, they are just 8. So, I mean, ah. in, 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 in a lot of questions. But also, you can't make excuse for Paul Aibogun. Mm. When you have this bunch of players, this quality, you should get them, you should push them to get Particularly results. Particularly when you know his quality, your expectations will rise. But again, Lawal, is it because they are playing Port Harcourt? No, no, no. As um, Toby Riley said, one thing Toby didn't address is that the, the number of players they sign cause a, a, a level of imbalance in this team. Hmm. You, 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 know, you have good players. Christian Piaguera from Chax was brought in. Jose Vastadia from Wari Wolves was brought into the team. Um, oh, okay. They brought some, some some new players from different clubs all over Nigeria. About 15 players, Tofi Loza, Fola Kai, um, Chema Akers. But now, as Toby rightly said in terms of statistics, by this time in last year, Eimba, you wouldn't believe out of matches played, 36 matches, Eimba has only scored 35 goals. Mm. Uh, by this time last season, they, were, they scored 58 goals. Could it be because they now, go of Kadi no, Kana? I want to know that, 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 that's part of it. That's part of it. That, the, the, the major mistake was they made was that you don't just do away with a winning team and with a winning coach. But a, a winning the team is a winning team and coaches are to in, be fired. in Europe, 
or anywhere in the world in the same society, you can't bring in 15 players and it will cause imbalance into a team. Mm -hmm. You have your players already there. What you need to do, you need to pluck the weak areas in the team and you set them off for the next season. That's what you do. You can't tell me that the team that won the league last season, that team is not good enough. Only the players that won the league last season, some of them are not making the team anymore. You brought them 15 players into, the, into a team that was playing the Champions League and the league, it has really affected them. Check out their play. The Ayimba is not the Ayimba we knew last season. No, I, I, I think the reason why they, they, they decided to go for a of players was the fact that they will compete on a you know, four tournament yes. in the Tradition Cup mm -hmm. League, then on the continent. But also, you can't take it away from, from the fact that the numbers look too much. I, I really want to agree with you. The number looks too much. Then you talk about Kadri Kana also. Really, sometimes when, when, when you look at it, if, if your manager wins the league for you, it should continue on the show. Sure, side, sure. But not always, guys. Yeah, not, not always. always. Also, also, you have to check Adrian Kana's last, you know, um, his, 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 his last job after Iimba. You know, I shouldn't say it was a terrible moment for him. So, on the balance of play, Iimba is struggling. Kadri Kana also, you know, failed to get it right in, in his next job also. So, I mean, but you can also fall the decision of Paul. Paul has been one of the managers that's been around in the MPFL experience. Manager, at some point, he was mm. at, at, at Iimba. He was at two wolves. He was always challenging for title. Look at the, look at the fight last season for Iimba and Warrior Wolves. Paul Poole, great players together, Salami and Dres and Abuasis, and he has done it for himself. He is a, he's a, he's a, he's a top manager. And then, I mean, it is so surprising to see Paul not really getting things right in the end, but I think there's a lot of things the management need to ask themselves. There's a lot of questions the coaches need to ask themselves. Yeah. And also, the players need to challenge themselves. Yeah. Why yes, are we that, that, that's what just at the X level? If you put the competition of these players together, the Yimba should win trouble. But to Toby, Toby, on, on the issue of Kadiri Kana and then Paul Aikogun, I'll take Kadiri Kana over Paul Aikogun. Because, hold on, Ikana has been at the continental level before. He has won it before. Paul, Paul also has been on the continent. Yeah, yeah he has never won anything. He has never won anything. But, but you can't take... You can't can, take you name, can you name a trophy can, Paul has won? If, if, Paul, if Paul competed on the continent for, for three seasons on the bounce, why can't you do with Ayima International? Yes, Kadri Kana won it 2003. Why has Kadri Kana hasn't won it since 2003? Well, he has still won some other trophies at the local set. Paul Ayubu has never won anything. I'm not trying to... But you know the one question, the coming of Paul. Yep. When um, Kadri Kana was living, you can, because we know his it, quality. It, it, was, it was also a good decision yes. and a quality but it, coach. It, also. It, it has shown the result. That, 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 that is not the right person for that, for so, that position. But he did so well from where he was coming from. What happened to Kadri Kana after Imba job? There you go. Yeah, the two parties. So, so, so you see, so you see, it, it, it can happen well, to any coach. It, it depends on the type of club that uh, you, you you coach. When you coach in shooting stairs, I will tell you, it's one of the most difficult clubs side. For you to preside over. I'm a fan of shooting stars and I know the politics behind that club. Mm. Now, leave that one apart. We can't leave that one. We, we will. We, 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 we didn't go well for any <laughs> shooting stars and, yeah. and, 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 what, and, and all the problems that uh, he left, Bengal Gumbata is trying to correct now. So you that, see, it can happen to you. You, you, say, you use the word trying. But basically, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that you will wonder what really happened to him. Because I mean, with the spark from last season, and even how they started this season, you'll be expecting. I told you, it is an influx of players. Mm. You don't have such number of players signed at the beginning of the season, and it will create an imbalance in the team. Let's leave it to the fans now. What do you think? Anybody about Football Club of Abaya and the way they are struggling? This season, particularly <laughs> after you know crashing out of the CAF Champions League, want you to talk to us on Twitter. It's channels on the sports Facebook. It's channels Life in Sports. We're trying to understand what's really going on. Why we look at the Nigeria professional football league this season has been a cracker. Enugu Rangers are gunning for the title, not just the title. They are seeking to make record. Can they do it? There's mm. so much to talk about. You're sending messages, we'll read them. Let's go on a quick break now. When we come back, we'll find out what's going on. Can Abia Warriors survive? What's going on in Aqua United? Okay, they say we can still go on with the show now. Toby, tell me, Abia Warriors, can they survive relegation? Yeah, um, uh, they can survive. A uh, good win for them uh, today. Uh, that result, you know, moved them to 14th position. Now they've had 44 point. And it has about um, two points above relegation zone. But you can see you, 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 you've got a lot of Big game side of it for Abia Warriors. I mean, the next weekend will decide their fate. They travel to Rivers United this weekend. I mean, it's always mm. going to be a difficult game for them. Very. I mean, and the point is, is the point. And yes, the will all shooting stars um, on, 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 on March the 13th, which is the last day in Abia Warriors. If you say they get mm. to win, that's three points. But the most important thing for them is to get the result against Rivers United, which looks very difficult because Rivers United are also challenging to win the league title. And also for, 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 for Atlanta, who play at home. Wolves in contention also for relegation battle will travel, then MFM will also travel. But on the balance of play, I think Kamabaras um, can can survive, but mm. you know, the destiny is in their hands if mm. they can get a result against Rivers United because 
when you're fighting relegation, you don't leave the destiny in the hands of your other teams that are contesting the relegation zone together. Because mm -hmm. if, you are, if you're expecting Sunshine to defeat the, the likes of Warriors and you expect, you know, MFM to lose a tournament, it will be very dangerous for you. So you need to get the job done, pick about four points in your next, six, um, right. your next two games, and then say the how, 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 how things will fear for you on the log. I know. There's still so much to talk about the Nigeria professional football. But you know what? Let's take a breather. When we come back, we'll continue the discussion. Go to your players of Aqua United are not smiling. And Zambia, they released the provisional list for the Super Eagles. So much to talk about. Don't go anywhere. Stay. Thank you.